Well, good morning. My name is Royal, and uh, I'm in my living room in Hearst, Texas. I'm here to do my morning devotional. I hope you're here with me. I hope you have a cup of coffee. If you don't, pause it right now and go get one or a cup of tea or a Diet Coke or whatever your morning thing is. And sit back and relax and focus on God. Uh, this video is for Wednesday, February the 1st. Dude, how many of you have already messed up on your resolutions? I don't even do resolutions that way. I don't mess up on them. Anyway, uh, all right, we're talking about integrity this week. Let's get, I got off topic, sorry. Integrity this week. Uh, Monday was integrity pleases God. Tuesday's integrity has a powerful influence on other. And today, integrity will give you peace. That's it. You know that that unexplainable peace that the Bible says a Christian should have? If you are not living a life of integrity, you will not have that peace. A hypocrite, anybody who's a hypocrite, whether they're Christian or not, whatever their belief system is, if they're a hypocrite to their belief system, it gives them anxiety. It give them, gives them anxiety. For the Christian, it gives you a dissonance between you and God when you are not living a life of integrity as a Christian. So integrity will give you peace. That's what we're talking about today. That's the key to peace. Let's start off with my version of the Lord's Prayer just to uh, get our hearts and minds ready to hear what God would have for us. Father God, uh, today um, we will keep your name holy above every other name. Father, um, would you help us, would you give us what we need to serve you today and be who you want us to be? Would you forgive us of our sins and point out the sins we need to ask to be forgiven for? May we forgive those who hurt us instantly so that we're better and not bitter. And Father God, would you protect us from temptations today and the negative influences that are all around us. And we will give you glory today, no matter what happens, good or bad. Because we know you want us to be the best that we can be. And you will use the good or the bad to help make that happen. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, so integrity will give you peace. You ready? Here is Romans 8, 6. Romans 8, 6. So, letting your sinful nature control you. If you don't know this or realize this, as a Christian, when you become a Christian, you, uh, the Holy Spirit changes you. You're forgiven. You've got God's grace in your life. Uh, but you still have a sinful nature. It's the physical nature. It's the thing that makes you uh, take two desserts. <laughs> It's the thing, guys, that makes you look at that woman a second time that you're not supposed to be looking at. It's the thing that makes you cheat on your taxes a little bit. That's your old physical sinful nature, and we fall back on that if we're not allowing the Holy Spirit to control us. Our, it, the, the closer we are to God, the more we recognize our sinful nature. See, when we're not very close to God, uh, we do sin and uh, uh and we don't even recognize it. But when we're close to God, when we get tempted, we go, oh, that's a temptation. That's a temptation. So today I'm going to be a person of integrity and I'm going to have peace. I'm not going to let that temptation turn into anxiety, especially by going and doing that thing I'm being tempted to do. So letting your sinful nature control your minds leads to death. You know what that means? Separation from God. Separation from God. But... Letting the Spirit control your mind. Letting, it says. God's not going to control you. Letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. Life and peace. What do you mean, Roll, I'm alive? I mean that full life. I mean that life without anxiety. I mean that life with confidence. I mean that life of trust. I mean that life that every stinking person on the planet wants to live. If you allow the Spirit to control your mind, it leads to peace and it leads to life. Isn't that awesome? Here's my prayer for today. And I just don't know why I just put my computer over there. Dear Heavenly Father, I am so thankful to have the Holy Spirit in me. 
I will follow your commands and allow the Holy Spirit to control my heart. Can you do that right now? Right now where you're at, can you say, God, I'm sorry for controlling my own life. I'm going to have the ultimate control by allowing you to control me. Allow the Holy Spirit to control my heart, my mind, and my actions. Please give me strength to see and avoid my old sinful nature. I know, Lord, that spiritual integrity will give me supernatural peace. Can I say that again? I hope you got that. I know that spiritual integrity, Lord, will give me supernatural peace in Jesus' name. This prayer in the scripture is in the description of this video. I look forward to replying to your comments. I hope it encourages you. I will see you tomorrow if the good Lord will and in the creek don't rise. And until then, love God, love people, and change the world. And it starts with you. God bless.